Hey everyone, it's Dragon Rider, and it is time to start talking about some new cards. And I love the release schedule uh, with these big, like, legendaries, these big cards that they are releasing with Titans. Literally, the Titan cards themselves are getting all released first. So, have a couple of Titans to show off uh, Twitter posted these the the play hearthstone twitter account so this is the first one here i love the little animation that they have as well but here is the priest legendary now this uh the way titans work if you aren't familiar is titans are minions but they cannot attack the first three turns but instead they have these abilities they can still be attacked, but in place of an attack, they use abilities. Now, they can use an ability the first turn that they come down. So pretty cool. Uh, but this priest one here, Amunthul, 7 mana, 310. It's a titan. And after this uses an ability, discover any legendary minion. Now, discovering a legendary minion is going to be only a minion that is in the mode that you are using the card. So uh, for example, I mostly focus on standard. So if I play this in standard, I'm not going to discover some legendary minion that came out, you know, uh, six years ago and is only available in wild. This will only be discoverable minions, legendaries that are in standard. Now, if this dies before you get to use all the abilities, you might only get to use one or two, but the abilities... Choose a non-Titan minion, okay, and then summon a copy of it with plus two, plus two. That seems pretty good, honestly, and Priest, I think, <laughs> loves that. Uh, the other one, Vision of Heroes, the second one here, summon a random six-cost minion, give it taunt and lifesteal, and then the third ability, Strike from History, choose two enemy minions, remove them from the game. Uh... Honestly, to me, just looking at this initially, uh, the choose enemy minions and remove them from the game seems incredibly powerful. And the shape the stars, choosing a non-Titan minion, getting a copy of it with added stats seems very, very flexible, seems very good. You can choose your own minions. You can choose an opponent minion. So I do think that this kind of gives a lot of flexibility for Priest, especially coming down in turn seven. Could come down maybe turn eight or nine as well, but the ability to come down on turn seven, maybe turn six with coin, uh, I think gives this a lot of flexibility. Um, the option of summoning a six cost minion, giving it taunt and lifesteal might also be kind of flexible, but I feel like at least initially looking at it and looking at this just without any other context, that to me seems like the worst of the three. Uh, maybe if your opponent doesn't have a minion or you can't, you know, you don't have any other minions, you don't want to choose to copy something, right? There's nothing to copy. So maybe you go for a minion, but it could be good. I don't like the just summon a random thing. But it might be too powerful if it were Discover <laughs> six cost minions. So maybe that would be a little too strong. So maybe it does have to be uh, just a random thing. Could be okay, depending on the minions in the six, you know, the six cost pool. And then the second Titan that was revealed is the Hunter Titan Legendary here. We have Agromar. And I love these animations. They're so cool. But Agrimar is a six mana, three, seven Titan with battle cry, equip a three, three Tasha Lash. All right. So you get a weapon. Sure. Three, three weapon makes sense. Uh, pretty interesting that they're giving Hunter a weapon here. I'm very curious to see what other cards are going to be coming to use with this weapon although the abilities here are still pretty good uh the maintain order give your weapon after your hero attacks draw a card you have swift slash give your weapon plus two attack and your hero is immune while attacking very impactful and then the commanding presence give your weapon after your hero attacks summon a three three enforcer with taunt 
The thing that I really love about these Titans is they give a lot of flexibility. I mentioned that with the priest one, but it's true for this one as well. You use the battle cry and then you get to choose when you use the ability during a turn. So you're going to have that weapon equipped. So maybe you're wanting to attack with it right away and you want to draw a card. Maybe you need the immune and the added attack to try to remove something off of the board. A 3-3 with taunts might be be okay in some cases, maybe against a more aggressive deck, being able to swing your weapon and kill off one of your opponent's minions, and then bring out, you know, an enforcer with taunt at the same time. Sure. Uh, Personally, again, just looking at this, like, without any other context, without any other cards, just this on its own, I feel like the taunt, mm, kind of one of the weaker options. Uh, The thing that I just think is really interesting about these titans as well is that you have these abilities you can only do one per turn they can be attacked so your opponent might want to kill these so that you only get you know one maybe two of the abilities uh, and try not allow you to get all three but you can only use these once so if you use the after your hero attacks draw a card the turn that you play this you're not going to have that option next turn. So it's very interesting how you want to manage these. But I do think giving Hunter an additional weapon and the ability to draw or have immune with that weapon is huge, especially after some cards rotated out of standard. It's six mana though, so it's maybe slightly slow. I'm not really sure where it's going to fit yet, but on its own, I-, I just think the Titan cards are super cool. And I really want to see what other cards they put in the set to supplement and to support these Titan cards. I don't know. I feel like I saw a lot of people saying that this might be really weak or it's not that great of a card, but we don't know what other cards are coming yet. So I'm sure there's going to be support for these. There has to be, right? There has to be support. I don't know. What do you think of these cards? And Which of the remaining Titan cards are you most excited to see? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my video talking about the expansion and my thoughts on those initial cards that were revealed. And I'll see you in the next one.